22nd of what is it? We're still me. 22nd of May. So, this is <laughs> nothing on the face. I mean, nothing on the face. Well, I've got moisturizer, you know, skincare. I've got my skincare, but that this is how I got up this morning. I haven't even brushed my hair. <laughs> okay, so I thought I would come back and share this brush with you because I'm going to do my makeup now. It is a lovely day today. But when I say lovely, it's the best day we've had all week since last Sunday. Okay, so this was the brush I picked up from Primark for just a pound, which looks like a dupe for the Real Techniques and it feels lovely. I was going to put my foundation on and all of that and then come on and just do the, the brush with you, but I've decided I wanted to share something else with you. So, you know, I like Estee Lauder, but these, so let me, let me tell you my favorite foundations now. I love Estee Lauder. I love this CC, the, from the CC cream from the It Cosmetics. And I also like my Forever Dior Compact Foundation, whatever it's called. Anyway, I've done, I have done reviews on all of these. Okay. Um, so I'm going to use, but what I don't like about this, the Estee Lauder one is, when I normally apply this, it's mid middle finger, shake and dab. That's how I normally apply it. But, <laughs> let me put my hair back so I show you this. I know, no going home, Andrew, like really, do you need to tell us that? What I sometimes, I don't have it here, is I take the pumps away from my Estee Lauder skincare that have pumps and I screw them onto this but I found a better way. This is finished, this is the Flawless Filter, the Hollywood Flawless Filter by, um, what's her name, I can't think of her name, we all know her name, oh my goodness, what's her name, Charlotte Tilbury, <laughs> oh dear to me, so it has this kind of brush at the bottom doesn't it we all know that has that and this is this will be um estee lauder that's left on it so i've done all my skincare and what i do is i just dip this into this and then i don't get foundation all over my um fingers and i use less of it as well put it back in there then I get my favorite brush don't look at how dirty it is but look I know we've had this conversation I'm working on cleaning my brushes on a more regular basis <laughs> it's just a habit I've never got into if only I cleaned my brushes as much as I clean my fridge <laughs> not so good that no no okay so and then I just rub it in so I just wanted to share that with you so it's the real artiste brush anyway it's filthy it's absolutely filthy i'm planning to wash them this week so if this brush from estee lauder is a good brush from estee lauder what am i talking about from i do have i do actually have brushes from estee lauder these are estee lauder brushes years and years old i'm not really a fan of them I like the way, I like a brush to be formed that way. I re I'm, I'm really liking the, the look of those brushes, but I'm going to let you know how they apply. I have bought a dupe before from, right, so this is a dupe and this was from Home Bargains. It's very different to, so that would be a dupe for this. And the, it's the bristles. I feel a difference in the bristles. It's probably less bristles. So it doesn't have that intensity like that. Whereas that's soft, but it has an intensity to it. Um, so I think this was I think this was a Primark one as well. But uh, this is a Real Techniques one, which it, I, it's too soft for me. Um... I got that one from TK Maxx, but that is actually a real technique. So whatever that line is, you know, the sparkly one, I don't like that. But I do love the regular ones. And honestly, 
they it really feels it i just knew the minute i felt it i felt it was really really good my favorite sd why do i keep saying sd Lauder? my favorite real techniques brush is the one that looks like that so i tend to use that in there and then that size i kind of go in on the sides and then i use this little one and then just go in the curve there and in the corners and they're really the three that i use the most for my eyes really really use them um and then it's just the ones that i use on my face okay so the way i separate these two if i'm at the end of a product like this can we see that and i want to get into the corners there we go there's the cheaper one there so if i want to get into the corners i'm not going to ruin my brush by pushing that in like so and ruining the brush but because that's a cheap brush it doesn't bother me and i push it in and then i get all the corners and, i mean look at that <laughs> come on the majority of people would have thrown that away but i can still see some in the corners just it's ready to go into the empties it really is so I just stick that in there because I'm not worried about ruining my brush twist it and twist it round and then pick up whatever makeup it is right I'm gonna finish applying my foundation properly because we need to get the base properly and then I'm gonna come back and show you how that brush works okay I'm back and as you can see I have not <laughs> done my makeup I got sidetracked put washing out put washing in hoovering tidied up cleaned up the kitchen blah 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 so i thought i'll do my makeup with you to save time we'll have a wee chit chat so the foundation's on so the next thing i like to do after my foundation is on is i get my victoria beckham highlighter which i don't think you can get anymore small broken brush because i feel as if i can control it and i basically just go in here and you can see the victoria beckham um highlighter is a blush did i call it a blush it's a highlighter but it's almost a blush too so i kind of just cover that area there that gives me sheen i go in here as a base because at my age you need as much glow as you can possibly get highlight my lips just here see as we get older our lips start to thin and all of that and that's when we start considering a little bit of help you know and just you know maybe maybe just just to plump them out a little see i'm quite happy i mean i like the shape of my features all my features i have i don't have a problem but i think as we get older they start deflating slightly and you know i mean i'm 56 a little enhancement <laughs> maybe wouldn't help considering it anyway so i just highlight there highlight there highlight there in here and then just kind of this sort of thing and that's how I start that off. Then I like to go in with a bit of contouring. It could be my Chanel, whatever it's called, or it could be my Tom Ford. At the moment, I have got this sitting here with me, this Revlon palette, which um, Tanya sent me from Bits and Bags. It actually fell. It was, it was nearing the end of its life and it found a lot of it broke but i'm still using the broken bits so now all i have is that so <laughs> it's falling apart nobody can accuse me of wasting makeup so i'm just gonna um just do a bit just a bit as you can see that highlighter has done quite a lot as it is so just okay just that's it just to blend it all in there we go just to sharpen everything you know i mean i don't follow any rules when i do makeup i quite often ha 
get asked to do my makeup on camera but I honestly I, I don't follow any rules I just I just go with the I just go with my face I just go with the shape of my face and if I'm happy with it in the end that's it and this is the way I have been doing my makeup for years okay so I'm now going to go in with some blusher I was playing about with the blusher wasn't I earlier on and I'd already put the brush in so I'm I'm not going to go in with too much just now because there's a lot going on on my cheeks just now I am under a strong light so I do go heavier mm -hmm. <laughs> okay by the way as we're here should we have a wee chit chat I have just I was just been watching last night in fact Kat L's I think it's her last two videos one on um she was talking about is everybody now buying Hermes, buying the Birkin along those lines? And I will try and link the videos below. And the other one, what was she talking about now? I found them both really quite interesting. Oh, purse piece. Purse piece. I did comment, I think it was on, was it on the purse piece? No, I think it was on the Birkin one. I commented that I felt, um, she was, she was talking about, you know, is, is buying Hermes the next level and just generally about things like that and see and I, I put in in one of the videos the comment is I think that we are or honestly I think we are influenced into buying Birkins and what have you because you know at the end of the day the Birkin is not like one of the most beautiful bags i suppose that's a a matter of opinion as well because beauty is in the eyes of the beholder okay but i do think us that watch all these um bag videos and i must admit i hardly watch them now i i think i'm kind of i think i'm kind of i think i'm at purse piece I, I i don't know I've touched on this before and I sometimes you know when when we're buying so many of these things are we looking not for purse piece but something else within ourselves I don't know because I, I know when I got into it and I got sucked into it it was when you know I had a lot going on and I got it was a beautiful escape almost like people that gamble you know that addiction the always chasing the gamblers always chasing the bigger amount you know oh i've lost it i'll play again and regain it and never ever being satisfied so i think you know this bag thing is is an addictive thing it really really is because we, we all a lot of us say oh i bought the one and and you know i mean i i'm guilty as that i was going to buy the one and i bought another one and another one and another one and now i'm really and i don't know if it's what's been going on that it makes you reflect see this makeup's not going to get done because when this mid starts it oh my goodness starts but yeah i don't know if it's the year i but you know i do feel I like I have my classic bags for me I mean how many bags can I use how many occasions do we have to go to so for me I, I, I don't feel like when every time somebody unboxes a new bag I don't feel oh I, I need that bag anymore oh oh I'm missing that bag in my collection or and even I mean, I've still got it there the Kurt Geiger one and I thought, and I, I love the look of it, and I really, really do. It's a £60 bag. But I thought, no, 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 no. Use the ones you've got, okay? Use them, and, and like my Gucci ones that I don't worry about, like for now when you're when I'm worried about, you know, it's hand sanitizer and all of that. So, and I thought, no, I'm even if it's £10, I don't, I really, really don't need it. And I'm the same with my SLGs. I've never been one for SLGs as long as one could do the job. I've been 
quite happy I don't have a great collection of SLGs I maybe got influenced on one or two pieces sunglass case for example anyway we'll leave that one there I mean I think sunglasses really anyway i do use it though i do use it like sometimes when i've got like when you get the big like gucci have big cases and all that i kind of move them into my louis vuitton um some class case so I, I i just found myself when i was listening to um cat and and I, I was thinking is it is it purse piece or is it peace within yourself? But when we say when we say peace, I mean like content. I mean being content. That's what they mean. Content with your collection. Why do you have to get the next one and the next one and then once you've got the bucking? I mean, where do you go from there? Do you get another bucking and another bucking? I mean, how many buckings do you need? Now it's different if you're earning millions and millions and for you buying a Birkin or buying a Chanel bag is like buying a bag out of Primark you know that's that's a totally different thing that's that's where you are but there's a you know I'm certainly not you know in that range where I can just go in and oh, have that, that that and that and that it's just not gonna happen and I appreciate every single one of my bags that I have, this is going to come back and smack me right in the face now. I know what's, I'm seeing all of this and I'm going, oh, there's a bag. <laughs> anyway, let's move on to, on to the shadow. Just let me know your thoughts on this because there's a lot of talk just now about purse piece. Right, I normally go in with kind of a, a light colour base. Always, always, always. I'm going to always go in. And although I've put the highlighter there, that just adds something under that. I'm just going to use this look at this this maybelline palette this was the tropical twist i'm trying to use it up because i want to get rid of it so i've been you can see i have been using it up this is probably the one i use in most of my my videos right i'm gonna go i, I couldn't even tell you the colors now because they're all kind of crazy so this is kind of a a pinky based natural color i would normally go in with a thicker brush but i just i want to try and it's got the thin nib at the end so i can get into all the colors of this so I'm, i just like to put that kind of all over the lid in the same way i did with the highlighter it's really weird doing it here because i'm normally standing in my bathroom and my face is right up at the mirror it feels really my lips are dried now because i've gone over it it's, it's a very 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 powdery and I normally have wet ones because I like to dampen my brushes and kind of clean them in between applications so let me just go and get a wet one I have my my wet ones probably should have them there anyway so just wipe that just to dampen it a bit because it is a very powdery palette so that's just I'm going to start off and I just look at my eyes and I just build in I really 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 like this brush but in all honesty, for a base where I'm not detailing, but I, I can tell I like the, the, the feel of that brush. I'm telling you, I'm going back to get more of these. I like a big brush like that. So it's just, I'm quick. I'm in there. I'm just getting it all in there. Okay. So then I, I'm going to go in now with, what colour should we do? What am I going to wear today? What top? I think I'm going to go in with... Mm, let's go in with what should we go in with I don't know um, I'll go in with this orange orangey colour just here and I'm just going to go on, on like in the middle of the brow here there we go and then the same on the other side And then that's how to so it's the highlighter a base and then i just go in with a lighter color there and then i'm going to go in i think i'm going to go in i'm going to go in with the green let's go in with this green on the other side of the brush and in here just go in here and then i'm just going to shape out how i want to go with the makeup There we go. I'm just shaping it in just here. 
so that's that and that's my thoughts on the Birkin and purse piece I, I'm, I'm kind of I don't, I'm not attracted anymore to unboxings at all I know if I do I'm gonna do I like when I I know if I do a collection that's gonna get views I mean it will just get views so I know there's still a lot of people out there okay I'm gonna go in with this white cause I just need to brighten up and see where I'm going with this because actually not liking the colours that I've chosen at the moment so it's because a lot of the colours that I would use as bases are, are finished now so I'm working with other colours um yeah so when I if I, I'm, I'm gonna as soon as I do this I'm gonna do my Gucci collection that's gonna get views my Chanel collection gets views so certainly people out there that are watching them but I don't know I just think this there's so much out there just now on YouTube of the bags I mean how many reviews do you need to watch on the Chanel bag and how many oh, and the Birkin it just I mean even that now just seems commonplace there was somebody that uploaded just recently on YouTube about her experience I honestly I looked at that I looked at this video and I was like oh my goodness you are getting so upset over a bag it's a bag and this girl was seriously seriously upset about the essay not giving her a bag and she had all these emails but I've spent so much on here and it was ridiculous amounts of and it was list after list of things that she wanted to get and then she you know she was disappointed because somebody else had scored a book in and she hadn't and and I sat there and I was like oh my you know it's a bag come on and it's not as if she hadn't, she didn't have Birkins in her collection. She'd have, she'd had them. She'd sold them. I know you. I know those of you that follow um, that follow all you know these the, all these kind of videos. You okay? I was obviously talking <laughs> far too long because the uh, camera switched off. So I just added some more of the light colour in there because I just I just need to brighten it all up it was just very dull looking and I'm not used to the lighting here so I'm just gonna go in I'm gonna go in with this kind of bronzy ready color just brighten the eye up a bit it just all needs bright up. and that's what I mean I have no set rules I just look at my makeup and just think oh it needs a bit more here and a bit more there and to be honest once I switch the camera off and I go into my own bathroom where, I, where I'm used to the lighting I will probably touch it up and think oh it needs a bit of colour here and it needs a bit of colour there I'm just going to go in with this orangey colour as well just to soften the whiteness of the edge so it all blends in so yeah you know I, I'm, I'm just and that's what I've been I've been looking at these videos and I've been thinking look do, do I still belong in this bag community because I've been you know as much as I still love bags I'm just um fixing my eyebrows where I have over plucked yeah it's a thumbs up for the brush so this whole thing started for me to test out the brush and I've ended up doing my whole makeup i'm gonna go and get this brown now so all i want to do with the brown is just kind of shape my eye slightly just shape it going up and then just kind of smooth it out like so just just till i feel everything's blended to the way I like it. I'm just going to go in with that orange just to blend. I'm going to go in with that orange just to blend. And then I'm going to get this yellow in here and just go under the eyebrow 
just a little emphasis on the eyebrow there okay a touch more i do like a bit of white coming under here i'm looking at my mirror there sorry if if that's really annoying but it's just to make sure i can see okay i'm then going to go in with my eyeliner so the eyeliner i use is the wonder ink eyeliner from who is it from it's not very dear at all rimmel there you go not very dear and i don't know if i'm gonna manage this on camera so and i, I kind of just flick i would really <coughs> rather do this off camera because and that's how i generally do my eyeliner right i'm gonna seriously go and finish <laughs> doing my makeup um, and then come back so we've chatted about Birkins we've chatted about purse piece you know is it actual purse piece or is it peace within yourself contentment within yourself are we ever content as human beings <laughs> we're getting deep really really deep you know it's funny we talk about handbags and then we talk I, I, I just think the whole thing is connected I, I really do because it's, you know, as much as we try to convince ourselves that it's, it's very normal to be buying a bag every week, it isn't. It is not. <laughs> Who am I to say what normal is? I know. Go on. I know I'm going to get a whole of views for this. But anyway, I am going to go finish off my makeup. I'm sitting here with one eyeliner on YouTube and I'm going to film my Gucci video. I hope you have enjoyed. I might come back and just show you the finish. I'm just going to put eyeliner, mascara lip liner which um, and then i've got my lipsticks and all of that and i'll come back and show you the finished um face I might i might even brush my hair yes I think your mom's thing my mum's thing my mum's thing my mum's what is it letter for my mum Interesting. Maybe it's for her fight. But yes, that's my appointment for my um, second vaccine. Yes. When is it? I'll go and open it. And okay, I'm back. I forgot. <laughs> I wanted to try the mascara with you as well from Primark because this is a different one that I usually use so my appointment has come through it is for the 3rd of June I'm trying to change it at the moment oh this is not the type of brush I was expecting it's one of those plastic really thin brushes <laughs> I'm really whoa oh my god it is good look at this I've hardly put it on my eyelashes and oh look at no clogging <laughs> it's not clogging or anything wow can I just see well worth 350 well worth Oh, 350 right I'm gonna go off I, I wanted to do a first impression and I am impressed so I'm gonna go off and do it properly you're sick of hearing me say that I'm gonna go off I'm gonna go off and then I'm back and I'm off and I come back and <laughs> catch you I am back again I've changed my top do you remember that's one I got from TK Maxx and I'm just gonna put some lipstick on there we go my makeup is finished I've even brushed my hair so this is what I love when I go to hairdressers to get my hair done. I just, it'll, go, it'll stay like this all week. It'll just get grease here and grease here, but it will stay like this all week. That's the difference. Okay, I'm looking for a red. I'm looking for a red lipstick. I'm not sure, let's go for a different one. Oh, this is quite a dark red. Mm. Should we go with that? What is this? 
I'm one of those people that likes to blend and mix them. Uh, 869. This is a satin. I do like a lip brush as well just to blend everything which I probably do off camera again. Let's stick some a brighter red over it. Oh no, that's too light. You'd have expected them all to be red in this. This is quite an orangey red. This is, see, then I'm going to, never mind, mess up the top of this, but it doesn't matter. That's why you're supposed to use a brush, but it's okay. Hey ho. I don't mind. Mmm. I like the feel of that one. Mmm. -hmm. Mmm. -hmm. Mmm. -hmm. Get those edges, because. Mm -hmm. Cupid's bow and smudge it all and all of that and I'm expecting Georgie to come over she's coming over for a sleepover so yeah oh by the way I changed my appointment I brought it forward <laughs> the sooner the better get it over and done with so I have brought my appointment forward to Thursday this Thursday I will be fully vaccinated hopefully no side effects and um cheers to getting our lives back cheers i've been going off wine if i had to be honest i don't know what's wrong with me i haven't really and even last night i, I poured a glass of wine and and I put, and I thought it was because I'd put white ice in it and I was like, I'm not liking this. Um, and I haven't been drinking all week. And I don't know. Teetotal. Teetotal. <laughs> Cheers. Mm, just, let's just leave it there just now. Maybe it's that particular wine. I don't know. I don't know. Okay. I really need to do this filming. I'm going to tidy my bits and pieces. Look, there's a mirror here. There's a Gucci thing here. Because I, by the way, I was looking for this everywhere. Everywhere. It's, it's a Gucci charm. And I normally have it on my Burberry bag. Because the Burberry bag's zip is really stiff. So I would use this as a pull. Here we go. And could I find it this morning? So I wasted a whole lot of time trying to find it. And I was like, I'm sure I put it on a Gucci bag. I checked all my Gucci bags. No, but it was on a Gucci bag. But it was hanging on the inside of the Gucci bag. I eventually found it. Yeah, that's why I like to be organised so I can find things. But even I sometimes can't find things because I over-organise. Okay, look, there's nail varnishes. There's also, there's, look, when you spray... You know, remember I was doing my pre-mark haul and all of that, and I'll be like, ah, I haven't sprayed anything. And by the way, <laughs> when the camera was off, I was like, shh, I'm so curious with me. He says, I need to stop this. I need to stop this spraying. Okay, let me film. <laughs> it's just, there's so much Gucci. What's that Gucci thing for that? Oh, that's right. Okay, I just saw a Gucci box. I was like, I will forget something in my Gucci collection. But anyway. My Gucci collection will probably be up way before this, so I'll probably have the Gucci collection linked below. Enough, shut up, Andre. Get on with the Gucci filming. <laughs>